Hello everybody, welcome to the Joel Homer Show, where today I review the Kid Connection Railroad Engine and Tracks 22-piece battery-powered train set. Hey, you there! I want to remind everybody that if you end up liking this video, please consider subscribing. It's free, and you can always change your mind. And right now, YouTube says that over 90% of people that watch my videos aren't subscribed, so it would really help, and with that... Hello everybody, I'm Joel Homie, your guys' host for today's video, where today I'm going to be reviewing the Kid Connection Railroad Engine and Tracks 22-piece battery-powered train set with functioning lights and over 10 feet of track. So today's video will be following similar guidelines to my recent review video, starting with a box overview, unboxing, and then we'll go and take a look at the contents in the box, including the product itself, all the way down to any informational guides or any instruction manuals or anything of that sort. Then I'll go ahead and show you guys how to install batteries, as well as how to set it up, and actually how it performs, and well, how it actually sounds, because this product does actually come with sounds. So let's go ahead and start off today's video with the box overview. Of course, starting at the front. So you can see here that a lot of the information that I've actually already listed off in today's video is actually shown here on the front of the box. So you've got kid connection in sort of like the general bottom left, right above the choking hazard sort of warning there with our age recommendation, which is ages three and up here. And then we've got the functioning lights in over 10 feet of trek, little sort of a bubble circle thing going on there. And then here on the bottom right, we've got the name of this product, which is the railroad engine and tracks. And then up here on the top right and top left, we got battery powered and 22 pieces and then a nice visual there in the center and then we have some see-through plastic where we can actually get a uh, view of our steam locomotive that we get here with the road number of 1862 and then moving to the back of the box here we've got another visual and some more things that are similar to what we saw on the front and it actually lists off here that the locomotive can go forwards and reverse with the sort of a switch there on the right side of the locomotive or rather the left side depending on which way you have the locomotive or oriented and then here in the bottom left, it lists off what the set actually includes. So here you've got one locomotive, three train cars, and many of these things actually say uh, Western Express. And then right below that, it says a uh, six straights and 12 curves, which you have some visuals of all of those things here. And then this is not a completely new product. I've actually had this for many years, but it's been sitting in storage for lack of a better word. So it's still in very good condition to the point where I can still show you guys basically exactly what it would be like if you were to actually purchase this brand new. So unfortunately, uh, there would usually be two pieces of tape here that you would be able to cut with some sharp item or just rip off your fingers, whatever you decided to do. But one of these I've already cut, so I'll go ahead and actually show you guys how to uh, unbox this with a live demonstration later in the video right after we do a pause and read segment for the top, bottom, and right and left side of the box. So here is the top of the box. Just says uh, railroad engine and tracks, and then there you've got a... Uh, kid connection logo and then here is the bottom of the box with a little thing showing you how to install batteries which i will do it later in the video and then here you've got proof of purchase and a kid connection logo and then here unfortunately it won't fit in frame too comfortably but you've got the right side of the box there and then the left side of the box is actually very much the same just being perpendicular to the other side. So now with the unboxing, as I said earlier, this is uh, already been open, but you can see there that we've just sort of pull off a little tab, which uh, just allows you to pull up the uh, rest. And then here you can actually see we have a plastic insert. And then once you've actually got everything out of the commercial packaging, you can see here you've just got a big sort of plastic carton with everything sort of slipped into it. And then you've also got sort of like a informational guide here that just has some warnings on it. Also saying uh, don't modify the train set as it sort of uh, well voids the sort of safety sort of standards that it's actually packaged with and everything like that. So if that is in focus, you can pause and read and get any information if you want to take the time. And then moving that out of the way, let's go ahead and just start pulling bits out and I'll go ahead and uh, talk about sort of like the looks of everything and sort of like the feel. Considering that I reviewed a lot of toys in the past, I sort of have what I call sort of like a toy feel, sort of a touch, I guess you could say. I usually can tell if something's cheaper or if there's more quality put into it based on how it feels and how light it is 
and just stuff like that. And I'll go ahead and talk about things like that. So starting with the locomotive here, this is something that even while this is a cheaper toy, I always have liked uh, and I've been fascinated by steam locomotives and uh, seeing it in sort of like some nice bright sort of colorful uh, sort of uh, colors and design here. It is nice to see. And then you've also got your functioning little light there that is right above sort of like the smoke box sort of a boiler cap right there on the front and then here on the side you do have your road number which is of course 1862 you've got your forwards and reverse and off switch right there you've got some nice golden details running down the side for the rods the pistons and some grab irons and then you've got your domes bell funnel whatnot you've got a, a guiding sort of a bogey set of wheels here that does actually swivel back and forth and then you've got your main drive wheel that is connected to the motor on the inside and then you've got a dummy sort of a drive wheel here that doesn't have anything on it whereas this actual main drive axle does actually have some rubber to actually get some grip and then here on the back of the locomotive you have some well really bad boiler detailing right there you can see here we actually have a phillips screw where you would install the not included two double a style alkaline batteries which i'll show you guys how to do later in the video and then moving the locomotive out of the way here is our tender so here you can see it's a very bright red color with a big stick on the side that says western express and then as i'd said earlier based on how many toys i've interacted and reviewed in the past i can generally feel how something is made and how cheap it is or how much quality was put into it but based on how light uh, this feels it's not it's definitely not meant for to be the most top quality toy ever as this is very light it feels very cheap based on just how the plastic feels and then it's something they actually show as evidence that this is cheap and nasty and it's not had much thought put into certain parts of the design is actually things like this you can just pull off parts and this is a very very big choking hazard a small child could very easily pull these off and end up choking on them which sure the box does say choking hazard but i don't like toys that are so easily taken apart like this and then you have a thing right there across the bottom that just say made in china but that's on the rest of the coaches as well and then you've got your couplers here on the back and the front of the coaches these are for all of them and then the locomotive actually has just a sort of like a loop where these actually can go into and then moving that out of the way here you've actually got sort of like that open top sort of gondola car that i had uh, showed earlier or with the visual on the back of the box and then here you've just got sort of like some wood detailings and then once again you've got these sort of uh, wheels here that just pop off very easily like that and then on the inside of the coach you've actually got well basically no detailing and you can tear this apart quite easily based on this being clipped together it is actually glued together oddly enough i don't know if the camera can actually pick that up but there is some glue right in there but anyway moving these out of the way let's go ahead and take a look at our last coach here which is actually the sort of like the baggage or the passenger coach so this is just simply a very sort of a black color that is a um, uh, that the mass majority of the actual coach is molded out of you've got a golden roof that does match the color of the locomotive's roof there and then you've got some nice sort of uh, rivet detailing going around the top there and then you've got a western express sticker once again you've got some doors and some nice detailing molded into certain places once again very very light this is all just very cheap feeling plastic and if i put enough uh, strength into this I could probably just grab this with one hand and snap it very easily. I'm not sh I'm not uh, telling you guys that just to say this is a absolutely horrible product. I just want to give you guys a bit of an idea on what sort of kind of build quality this has. But either way, if you do have a small children and you're all planning on giving this to them, I really do um, sort of want to express that it's a very good idea to actually uh, monitor them while they are playing with this because, well, you've got stuff like this and if this were to break and have sharp edges, that's not going to play out too well. But anyway, uh, moving that out of the way, here is actually our track. So I do apologize for the lot of rambling that I did there. But anyway, uh, pulling out the track here, you've actually just got some very sort of a cheap track here. That's just a very simple sort of, uh, well, no ballast track is what I would usually call this when it comes to actual uh, hobby grade model trains. But anyway, the way that you actually end up connecting these is actually through some female and male style connectors that are actually on either end of the track. So you've got sort of like a female and male end style connector where you can actually just sort of uh, put these into each other and just press down and they are then sort of interlocked. And then the same actually goes for the straights. If I can go ahead and actually grab one here, you can just simply connect it the same way to the straights, or actually rather the curves rather here, as you can see there. And then unfortunately the table that I'm actually 
actually using today you actually can't span the entire radius of the curves as oddly enough with this being such a cheap train usually you'd actually see the curve radius of the track being very very small but this actually expands out quite a bit and is very good for setting up on the floor so i will probably just show you guys actually the train running on a little bit of the track as uh when i'm actually not on the table here the lighting quality is not very good here in my room but anyway, so moving that out of the way, let's go ahead and now take a look at how to install batteries into the locomotive. So all you need to install our batteries here is actually just a Phillips screwdriver, preferably a larger size as the screw on the back is actually quite large compared to a lot of other toys I've actually interacted with. And then two AA style alkaline batteries, which for today's video, I'll be using some IKEA rechargeables here. So getting these out, let's go ahead and now take our screwdriver and actually go ahead and unscrew our backing here. And just to add to the whole entire choking hazard thing here, you can actually see here that there's only one screw holding on this door, just to add to the rest of the choking hazards with all the other stuff in this set. So screwing that in, of course, if you weren't like me and you were actually planning on giving this to a child uh, to play with sort of for a semi-long term span of time rather than me, which is just reviewing this for today's purpose. But anyway, now that we have the bad news in, let's go ahead and flip the switch and well, let's see what happens. There you go. So you can see not too awful much, just about what you would have expected from what I actually uh, told you guys in today's video. You've got your little light there on the front, which is nice. So no directional lighting with many other hobby grade model trains that I've interacted in the past. And then you've got this one center or sort of like rear drive axle here that you can see moves along right there. And then you've got our little sort of uh, sounds here, which is just about the most annoying sound that I've ever heard out of cheap sort of uh, toy trains like this. And then anyway, enough of me talking negative stuff about this. Let's go ahead and uh, set up a little bit of track and see how this actually sort of performs. So you can see here, I have zoomed out the camera just a little bit and I'm going to go ahead and actually set up just the locomotive first and let it run around this little itty bitty bit of track that I've actually set up here first before I set up all of the coaches and well, inevitable chaos happens from me not having enough room to actually set this up. Let's go and set this to four and just see what happens. So you can see there, nothing bad happened, but there's actually a reason for that that I've actually noticed with actually interacting with this product in the past. It's because this locomotive has a lot of weight in the back and that causes it to actually be able to sort of press down the track when it's going along. Whereas uh, one thing that I've noticed, if you actually set it, set this up on carpet or even tile, with these coaches that weigh next to nothing uh, based to or compared to the locomotive, they will tend to actually come off. So I'll go ahead and actually just simply set up a little bit uh, more track here and it'll actually run a little bit off frame here, but I want it to have a more room to do a little bit more so we can actually see what it does and if it comes off the track. So now that all of that is done, let's go ahead and uh, get this going and see what happens. So you can see there that it did not actually come off. Now there's also a good reason for this that I've actually found when you have it on a flat surface and you actually have it running on batteries such as myself that are not fully charged, it actually reacts and uh, performs quite well because when you actually have full or fully charged batteries in this, it is actually quite fast and quite feisty actually. It'll go around corners quite fast with all the coaches actually doing a bit of sort of like this motion, which obviously with this track being very sort of not flat and warped, it will tend to make the coaches actually jump off the track and they will uh, sort of bump around on these little uh, sort of railroad ties and that will lead to the rest of the chain or the chain actually falling over. So as I'd said, based on me actually recording this and having a controlled area without a lot of track and obviously not the max amount of power, it didn't actually fall over and we got quite a good reaction out of this. But I do hope that today's video showed you guys what this product is like. It's one that I do actually quite like, even while uh, taking into consideration the quality issues that it does have. But I really do like this for the purpose that it is a train and i do think that trains are a very good toy for children but anyway with all that being said there is the joel Tony show review of the kid connection 22 piece train set so if you guys enjoyed today's video 